Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create surveys online for your business using a platform called Survey Sparrow. Now, this video is kindly sponsored by Survey Sparrow, and I really do like their platform and some of the features that you can utilize to create effective surveys. Now, some of the reasons why you might want to use Survey Sparrow in the first place could be to help you to actually improve your product or your service. So if you have been subscribed to this channel or you've watched my previous videos, you will know the importance of understanding your target customer and having surveys is a great way to do that. It's also a great way to help you to improve your overall customer experience as well, which can help people come back to your website at a later date and make additional purchases if you're constantly trying to improve both your products and your customer service and it's a great way for you to do your market research too so i want to show you some of the features that survey sparrow have as you can see i'm on their website now um, and they have uh, the ability to create beautiful surveys i'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to create surveys using this platform um, you can also share your surveys uh, across different platforms. You can get your insights. You can create recurring surveys. You can white label your surveys as well. So add in your own branding to it as well. And you can embed these surveys on your site as well. So you don't have to even use an external URL, but you can just have those surveys sitting on your website, which is great. Um, you can also have conversational forms as well. Now I'm going to be showing you when we get into the survey uh, building platform, how you can actually create this and what this looks like. Um, they also have a mobile first surveys as well, which is really cool for the mobile generation that we live in. They also have audience management, smart surveys, and also video surveys too. Now this is really cool because instead of having a background to your surveys that is just an, a single image, you can actually have a video playing as well, which can make it a little bit more engaging. Um, you can also have secure surveys, uh, API and integrations that they have as well can help you with other aspects of your marketing too. Um, and obviously, you know, survey themes and they accept payment too as well. So they actually do have a 14 day free trial um, and I'll leave a link obviously to Survey Sparrow in the description down below. So make sure you go and click sign up, try it for 14 days as well. See whether or not it's a good fit for your company, your brand and what it is you're trying to achieve. Um, but once you actually do get yourself set up for your 14 day trial, this is what it will look like in the uh, actual Survey Sparrow itself. And you can actually go down here to where it says add a new survey and you can click on that. And firstly, it will show you the different options you have when it comes to creating a survey. So the classic survey, these are how some of the uh, templates will look. If you choose the classic survey, um, this is the chat survey that we spoke about. So this is kind of a more uh, interactive type survey where your the people who take the survey will have to type in their question and they'll get a response back. So that's really cool as well. It's something that you might want to try out. They have the NPS Taos surveys as well, which is really good. Um, this is a quick survey to kind of like um, help with customer feedback. And they also have the offline survey too. So if you plan on traveling and you know your your customers will be taking this survey offline, then you can actually create that experience for them as well. And they also have the 360 degree survey too, which you might want to actually have a look at. And you can also book a demo experience of this survey platform as well um, if you really wanted to dive deep into it. So I'm going to go with a classic survey just as an example, and I'm going to browse some of the templates that they have. So as you can see, they have a bunch of really attractive done for you templates that you can literally just click and edit. They also have a browse feature as well. Um, so obviously I'm in the marketing industry, so I might want to just click on marketing and see the different templates that they have for that. You can choose your industry as well to kind of uh, make it a little bit easier for you to find a, a survey template that matches the look and the feel that you're going for. So I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to choose this as my template. So here is asking me to create a title for my survey. So I'm going to name this one uh, test survey. Um, and I'm going to keep it as classic form and I'm going to keep the workspace as mine and I'm going to create this survey. 
So as you can see, there's already populated questions that they have in here, but you can kind of delete these questions if you want to. You can copy these questions um, or you can add a question of your own. But if you click on any of the questions, it takes you into the editor where you can actually edit these questions if you would like and, you know, make this your own. You can also add a little description to these questions as well. And this little star button down here, this gives you the option to search question type. So when I click on that, you can have an opinion scale, you can have multiple choice question, you can make this a rating question, a contact form, an email, a, a text or phone number, and there's others as well. So you have, it can be sections, it can be numbers, matrix, drop down, you can have picture choice, yes or no. There's so many different types of templates that you can use for questions. I recommend having a look at all of them so that you can kind of know what type of questions you can ask. So if you make your questions as engaging as possible using different formats, then that can actually encourage people to take the survey right to the very end if they, if they stay engaged. So definitely make sure you have a play about with that and make as use or make use of as many of these as possible. Now at any stage as well, you can actually view what the question will look like. Um, so this is what my question currently looks like. So you can use that uh, kind of um, intermittently with your edit to make sure that it looks the way that you want it to look. Um, now you also have this required button as well. So you can un uh, tick that if this question is not required, but if it is required and someone can't move on to the next question without kind of uh, answering this, then make sure you click it as required. And you can choose an icon here as well for this particular question if you needed to. You can also add a tag to this question as well. So moving on to design, you can come down here and you can change the color of your questions. So at the moment, my questions are white, but I can change this to red and it will change all of my uh, questions to red. Similar with answers, I can change the color as well. I can change my background and my buttons. I can also add a header as well. So this might be my logo. I can grab that from my computer um, and I can add that logo to my site too. So the progress bar, I recommend you keeping that on. Obviously it's optional, but if someone can see how much of the survey they've got left, then they are a lot more likely to complete the survey. Whereas if they're just completing the survey and they have no idea how much is left or how much they've completed, that could discourage them from wanting to actually finish it. So I'm going to show you what the progress bar looks like towards the end of uh, this of the survey and of this tutorial. But that's something that you want to keep in mind. I also, uh, again, recommend that, that you keep um, this show question number as well, because that will allow you, uh, your, your, the people who take your survey to know exactly where they are with regards to completing the survey. Um, you can change the button style, the font. You can also go to some of the advanced, the background settings, and you can change the picture in here as well. Um, you can also change it to a video background. As we spoke about, you can have a video in the background and you can upload a video from your computer and um, have that as your survey background rather than an, a, a still image. Again, just to make it look a little bit more professional. Um, but I'm going to stick to an image and I'm going to choose one of their templates. I'm going to choose that one. And this is the image I am going to choose. You can also add custom CSS as well if you liked to. And then once you've finished making your changes, you can save and apply. Um, you can also see the uh, the the, the format in, in different styles as well. So this is how it will look on computer, desktop. This is how it will look on a tablet device and a mobile phone device as well. That's something that you might want to play about with. Um, so this also gives you the option to choose different themes. So you can choose a theme and you can apply the theme to your, uh, your survey as well. Now they also have global uh, variables and I'm gonna kind of come back to that in a second. But firstly, I wanted to speak about languages. So here you can add new languages as well. If you wanted to translate this form to another language, you can click add new language. Uh, let's say you wanted to uh, change it to Swedish, then you can click that. You can choose Google Translate if you liked to, and you can proceed. And once that is populated, you can kind of click on it and make sure that the translation is correct and, and is right. Um, and then you can kind of easily translate all of these questions and make sure that, that they're done correctly 
um, kind of seamlessly using Survey Sparrow as well. So this is this is a really cool feature. So you can also configure some of the settings of your uh, survey as well. So you can change the, the URL um, of this survey too if you wanted to. Um, and it gives you some other options as well. So if there are some settings that you want to kind of change or reconfigure, then this is where you would do that. You can change your notifications as well. So if you wanted people to receive a thank you email after completing your survey, then you can turn that on and you can customize what message they actually see here as well. Um, so you, you know, you can make that your own and you can also customize the look and the feel of that email. And you can decide whether you get notifications um, when someone has completed your survey as well. So that's completely up to you. You don't have to have it on. You can have it off if you don't want to be notified or you can have it on. So going back to these global variables, so you can actually pass information from Survey Sparrow to your chosen uh, platform. So um, they have integrations, for example, with Aweber. Now I speak a lot about Aweber on this YouTube channel and the importance of email marketing. I'll leave some links to Aweber in the description down below if you haven't started your email marketing yet. But there's also integrations with um, other platforms too to help you with your CRM system or your email marketing. This will help you to easily process the data that Survey Sparrow has configured for you. So that's something that you really want to keep in mind. Um, and once you've finished that, you can then share your survey. So it gives you the URL, you can copy that and you can paste it into your browser and see exactly what it will look like. Um, so I'm gonna click sure thing and this is my survey. Um, so, you know, I can send this link to whoever I want to complete the survey. They can complete it and as you can see down here, it shows me how much of a percentage I have completed of this survey so far so people know exactly where they are and they know what question they are on as well. That's really important. Um, now, they can you can also send this survey by email. You can create a custom URL. You can share it on social media. You can embed this to your website as well. As we've mentioned, you can embed it in email. Um, and then there's other options as well. You have SMS, you can um, create your QR code to this um, particular survey as well. So there's loads of options that you can utilize here. Now, lastly, I wanted to show you some of their pricing options. Um, they have an elite package, they have an enterprise package at $449. They have this, this NPS package at $249 and they have a business package at $149. So what I recommend you do is actually go through the different features um, that the different packages offer and make sure what it is that you need comes within the package that you need as well. Um, and if you're if you are thinking about competitors, maybe you're comparing Survey Sparrow to another competitor, just make sure that what you specifically need is within the package that you choose. Um, and obviously Survey Sparrow have a lot of features that some of the competitors might not have. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind as well when making your decision. But obviously, surveys are super important as a way to market research, to improve your products or your service or your overall customer experience to help, help you to increase your overall online sales. But you also have the formula guys, which is another way that you can increase your online sales through your marketing. So as you can see, there's a copy beside me. I will also leave a copy somewhere on this screen and in the description down below. So make sure you go and grab your free copy of that. But I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, then please click the like button down below and make sure you share this video with a friend. If you have any additional questions or comments, then leave them for me in the comment section. But until next time, watch some of my other great videos. Make sure you subscribe to this channel for more awesome business related content. Have a great day. Make sure you download the formula and I will see you soon.